Now I'll put the information up here and you guys try to figure it out. Boop. So you might be thinking, what's this got to do with solving equations? Well, we need to rewind to the beginning of the video to figure this out. You see, it wasn't a few days ago when Mr. Baird's friend, let's call him Mr. X, was eating his cereal. He told Mr. Baird, I bought this random fruit and nut cereal for £3.70 and it's for 300 grams. Now he told me to work it out for a kg and it says on the label that it's £12.34 per kg. Now you see, Mr. Bear thinks that Mr. X is paying too much for his cereal. So he told him, I told him he's paying too much for his cereal. Why didn't he just make his own? Now I pay £6 per kg for fruit and £8 per kg for nuts. Now if I buy 10 kg and it costs me £7.30 per kg of fruit and nut mixed cereal, how much of each ingredient do I buy? Now since I told him that, he's run off. He's been avoiding me, he has been working out the equation. Now I'll tell you what, why don't you guys work it out? Now I'll put the information up here and you guys try to figure it out. Okay, so Mr. Beard makes his own fruit and nut mix using dried fruit costing £6 per kg and nuts costing £8 per kg. He made a total of 10 kg of fruit and nut mix costing £7.30 per kg. How many kilograms of each ingredient did he use? So we can start by doing a table of values and we'll start off with the fruit first. There's two things that we can really ask ourselves is how much or how many kilograms of fruit does he have and then what's the value of that amount of kilograms. So we can say F is the variable for fruit and how many kilograms, the quantity would be F, and the value, well, because we know it's six pound per kg, is gonna be six times F. And so for nuts, we can do the same thing. N can represent the nuts. N represents how many kilograms, the quantity of the kilograms of nuts. And for the value amount, we know that it costs eight pound per kilogram for nuts, so that's gonna be eight times N. So N is the amount of kilograms and eight times N is the value for that amount of kilograms. So now we're gonna deal with the totals. Now we know that Mr. Beard bought a total of 10 kg of fruit and nut costing seven pound 30. So the total amount of kilograms is 10 kg. And how much does it cost? It was seven pound 30 per kg and he bought 10 kgs total. So that's 10 times seven pounds 30 pence. Now, so let's set up some equations. We know that for the amount, the quantity, we're gonna have F plus N is equal to 10 kg. So the amount of fruits and the amount of nuts is equal to 10 kg in total. And for the value amounts, we know that we're paying six pound per kilogram for fruit and eight pound per kilogram for nuts. And that's a total of 73 pounds. Why? Because remember, we're buying 10 kg in total and it's seven pound 30 per kg. So 10 times 7.3 is gonna give us 73 pounds. 
So we can use the following system of linear equations. I'm going to take f plus n is equal to 10 and 6f plus 8n is equal to 73. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rearrange this formula to say f is equal to 10 minus n. And since we know what f is, f is equal to 10 minus n, we can substitute it for this variable here. So I can rewrite the equation by substituting the value of f with 10 minus n. So I'm going to write 6 bracket 10 minus n plus 8n is equal to 73. Now if I expand those brackets, I have 6 times 10, which is 60, and then 6 times minus n, which is minus 6n. I still have the plus 8n and equal to 73. Now I can collect like terms. So 60 and I've got minus 6n plus 8n, which gives me 2n. That's equal to 73. Now, if I subtract 60 from both sides, I get 2n is equal to 13. Remember, I just subtracted 60 from both sides. So 73 minus 60 is 13. And I finally, if I divide both sides by 2, I get n is equal to 6.5. So that means that Mr. Bird buys 6.5 kgs of nuts. So in order to find the value of f, which is the amount of kilograms of fruit, we can substitute the value of n into the equation. Now remember the original equation was rearranged to say f is equal to 10 minus n. So here now all I need to do is replace the n. So the amount of kilograms of fruit is 10 minus 6.5. So therefore, Mr. Baird buys 3.5 kg of fruit. So I hope you had fun working out the equation as much as I did making the video. And if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Share it with friends and family. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.